hello guys make breakfast with me today i wanted to make fresh fish and okra soup but i changed my mind and decided to make pasta with some veg because i had some leftover veg from the roast dinner i made yesterday and i felt like making this easy peasy pasta with some fish the fish that i wanted to use to make my okra soup some spring onions that's the fish is washed and i'm adding hot water to it i always like adding hot water to my mackerel or titus fish because it removes the bad order that i don't like and it makes it a bit tastier and now i'm going to chop my carrots my onion my spring onion the fish is already in the pot and the onions is chopped and all ready to go i have also chopped my spring onions already in that plate and it's ready to go don't mind ignore my breakfast while i was making the pasta i also decided to have my milk and milo for tea with a slice of bread and african bread that is soft and delicious that's my pig milk and that is my milo it's all in the cup and i'm just going to season the fish is in the pot ignore the color of that pot because for some reason gabriel always used the iron sponge to wash the pot and what better way to spice your fish without the mighty curry and thyme that's my bread and my cup of tea that i'm having while also making this delicious pasta i've scraped the skin out of the carrots and i'm just going to use those two on carrot because it was just two i had left and there is no better way to cook without the almighty fresh pepper so i'm going to use three because i don't want it too spicy i also added some sweet corn and i've chopped off the carrots all ready to go the sweet corn was in the freezer that's our paboy pasta is boiled and ready our carrot and sweet corn is being washed and they are all ready i'm filtering the water of the pasta now in the other pot i've steamed the fish of course so i'm just going to fry the fish because it's an easy peasy pasta and i'm just going to use the one fish for it just to give it that flavor i'm just going to fry the fish in the oil just so it comes out nice i like frying the fish rather than just adding it in the pasta because if you just add it to the pasta without frying you end up looking for fish in the pasta because they will just get uh, broken and scattered all over the pasta right let's wait for the fish to fry i'm also going to add some onions to give it that flavor while the fish is deep frying in the oil the fish is ready so i'm just going to turn it upside down so the other side can fry and leave it for some time for it to fry i'm excited for this pasta this is just a local pasta now the fish is ready so i'm adding chopped tomato some onion and i will be adding some seasoning later and allow it to cook by the way i use the same oil that i used to fry the fish so instead of throwing it away i just added the chopped onion oh the curry is finished what are we going to do now anyway thankfully i had another curry so we are just going to use the second one and also we are going to add our thyme and we are just going to allow it to cook for a while and now we are going to add our non chicken cubes to the chopped tomato cooking in the frying in the oil so we are just going to add two of our non chicken cubes and allow it to cook oh my god the flavor and the aroma from this food is yummy already so it has cooked for a while we are just going to add the mixture of the carrot the sweet corn and the spring onions in the same mixture remember we are just going to make this easy local way of making pasta but this veg we are just going to mix it to it and there is another way you can cook this pasta instead of mixing it mixing them together of course we will definitely need to add a bit of salt 
is you can also make this as a stew and eat it with your pasta on the side rather than mixing them together but in today's cooking we are going to just allow that to stir oh that looks delicious and yummy oh my god i can't wait to try some of that but now we are just going to leave it to cook and cover it so it can cook very well now it is cooked and is a bit dried up so it's ready to accept our pasta now we are going to add our pasta in it's a bit stick to the pan so now the pasta is in so we are just going to stir it all over look at that it's looking yummy already now we are just going to stir all of those flavors that are underneath we are just going to stir the flavors in to mix them well together wow that looks delicious tell me will you be trying this my very easy to make pasta will you be trying it all you need is just your leftover mixed veg that is well mixed together look at that it's looking yummy and yu delicious and the benefit of having all of these different veg is just give it that nice healthy look and the the trick for this pasta is not to make it too dry at least have a bit of sauce so now i'm just going to put the fish at the top remember we only used one fish so we are only going to have about three fish or so because i've had one <laughs> i ate the head because i didn't want the bone in the soup now the food is ready and i'm just going to dish look at that goodness it's looking delicious and yummy look at that it's looking nice already wow that looks delicious that looks nice tell me will you be trying this my easy to make pasta and there are different ways you can make pasta you can just make the sauce on its own and eat it with the pasta on the side like just the parboiled pasta look at that it's looking yummy so there are different ways of making this vegetable pasta you can make it as pasta bake for example after you've boiled the pasta you do the sauce and then you mix them together put them in a saucepan add a layer of cheese grated cheese on the top and then you have that as pasta bake you can also just boil pasta and have the sauce the vegetable sauce on its own separate and also have it on the side as you have the pasta on the side and you have this thank you so much for watching bye